November 26, 2010. Black Friday revealed yet further evidence of the complete madness of the populace of our lost society. In case you didn't hear, the leaders of China and Russia. China and Russia said that they are renouncing the dollar. The best way to think of it is a ticking time bomb. At some stage, the dollar will fall sharply. Now, you might be saying, Neil, what the heck does this mean to me? As the dollar loses status as the world's reserve currency, as North and South Korea take the world to the brink of war, as the TSA violates all measure of liberty and constitutional rights, and as the U.S. military itself prepares for the coming total economic collapse and breakdown of civil order, this is what Americans care about. Wanton, lustful commercialism. Acting like animals fighting over trinkets made by human beings for slave wages. As you watch this horrific video, do you think any of these people own a single ounce of physical precious metal? Any gold? Any silver? Do you think that even one of them understands what the Federal Reserve is? Or that the Fed is spending them into oblivion and economic slavery? Do you think even one among them has made any preparations at all for the day when there is no food on grocery store shelves? And do you think the morally bankrupt executives at Target or Walmart even care? This is what we've become. A decadent, mindless culture who by virtue of this complete and willful ignorance are now officially complicit in the crimes being perpetrated against us. Do you think these people who behave like animals, literally trampling each other over $198 laptops and $10 toasters, will even pause for a moment to consider their actions before they riot and burn entire cities when the days of hyperinflation finally arrive? When the grocery stores are bare? When they are truly desperate? This, my friends, is what a dumbed down, morally bankrupt, completely broken society looks like. And this is how it behaves. No outrage over the bankers raping them. No outrage over their gutted industry. No outrage over their plundered dollar. Just blind, wanton stupidity. Just bread and circuses. The elite are social Darwinists, and they believe what they can get away with is fair game as long as we allow it. This is social engineering, and they've done it to us by design. They've turned us into animals that they can corral. We are no longer citizens in a republic safeguarded by our elected representatives. We are consumers feeding at a corporate trough managed by officials. Will you tell the American people to whom you lent 2.2 trillion of their dollars Hundreds and hundreds of banks, any bank or that has uh, access to the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's discount. You tell us who they are. No. If this is America, who will stop them? Our entire system is corrupt and needs to be dismantled and begun anew. But from what base? If what happened on Friday across America is any indication of the condition of the American populace, then our very foundations are built of sand.